I would like us to talk about your um, the training and retraining. Is there is there is there something like that in now? What exactly makes the training given by the Zaris Fashion Academy unique? The training of Zaris is different because um, we work with a curriculum. Okay. The curriculum has um, different stages because we need um, we need them to be able to talk about what fashion is. For instance, we we need to, um, for them to understand what they are coming here to do. It's not all about sewing. Okay. We need to let them know that being a designer in totality is more than the mentality that we normally have. Okay. But going through fashion and studying fashion, um, we have to always impact that knowledge into them to make them realize that it's not the normal norm. So our curriculum goes well with us. And um, after that, the training, we have professionalism, a lot of very um, people who have studied fashion actually teach in the school. Mm -hmm. So impacting the right knowledge in the okay. students is what is important to us. Yes. OK. Um, now, talking about impacting on students. Student. Uh, um, you were telling me about how do you, how do you uh, break down your course, for example, let's say, you, you learn for how long? It takes a duration of how long to learn okay. and to be able to now become a certified is it fashion, fashion designer. designer. Yeah. Okay, because a lot of people, I, I've met people who say they are urban. I, I met someone who said it's an urban fashion. It's not. It's not a tailor. He said an urban and something. something. There was something. There was a term he used <laughs> yes. that was just not the regular term. <laughs> okay. So are they fashion designers? Yeah, actually? they are fashion designers. At the end Complete of the day. fashion designers. So, yeah. so like it takes how long and what general process would they go through? The course takes three months. Okay. And um, for the first um, month that we start, we do a lot of theory. They should be able to understand what they're here for before we go into the practicals at all. So we do a lot of talking, a lot of history of fashion. How did fashion evolve? How did it start? Okay. We do a lot of that at the first month. Okay. Then later we go into a little bit of practicals. We do the pattern drafting. We have to understand that with the illustration. Then we're now going to the main practical work, which is the sewing room practicals. How do they relate with the machine? How do they operate the machine, the parts of the machine and all of that? So working in a total fashion house, from attending to the customer, the etiquettes of fashion, oh, right. how do you relate to customers? How do you relate to people mm. who come to your um, shop, for instance? And um, if you've not really had enough money to start, how do you start on your own and still maintain and have a balanced business? Mm. Yes. Okay, so if, um, for example, now you're saying the course lasts it runs for, for three, three months. months. Runs for three months. The first what about, month. What, would you consider the level of assimilation? Is everybody would everybody get everything in three months? Is it possible? It's possible to get everything in three months. Uh, what about those who those are not? Who, that, that, yeah, um, those who don't assimilate immediately, that, because of course it's not everybody's not the same thing. Yeah. After the first three months, those people who still want to learn will send them on internship, and they do another three months. That's working on the job. Um, we also have people who finish immediately and start. Those are people who cut the three months fast. Yeah. But after the, th the uh, next internship, they do another three months. And after that three months, I think um, that's enough for you to be a, a complete designer. Okay, okay. With serious coming from training. You, coming from you, yeah. I, will, I will have to agree. <laughs> now, you're an entrepreneur, Mr. Nero. Yeah. And um, I believe you will have an idea of probably empowerment schemes out there probably um, entrepreneur yeah. base that is focused on entrepreneurs, young yeah. entrepreneurs. Yeah. Can you let us in on that? Um, well, the, the major one which I, I can speak about, which I'm an awardee, is the UN program done by the federal government. Okay. Yeah, and um, I think um, we're hoping it would, it would continue, okay. but um, I think we've done three sets now, and um, it's a program where the government supports young entrepreneurs. At first, um, initially, we did not believe we did not believe something like this would happen in okay. Nigeria. But we, the awardees, are even surprised at how effective, how effectively the government has executed the program mm. and has kept to its own path. So, um, the UN is about um, you 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 writing a business plan, and um, a lot of people would write their business plans, and certain number a certain number will be picked mm. and trained for a particular period of time then they would also be sent to write a more detailed business plan, wow. after wow. which the government would give a grant to support the business. Okay. And, um, and some, almost some of us have been beneficiaries, I know that. So you, you've, been, you've been a beneficiary? Yeah. Okay, Zaris, have you been? Yes. 
Okay, can you tell us about yours? <laughs> um, it's the same procedure, but I just won the second batch. Oh, lovely. Yeah, so we're still here to collect on our money, but um, we believe strongly that it is very, very possible and it's very, very real. Mm -hmm. um, because I didn't believe that you had to, you didn't have to know anybody in Nigeria to and earn. To do, yes, 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 um, yes. It's such a very laudable um, um, stop by the federal government, okay. and I really want to commend them on that. Okay, yeah. so so you're saying all I need is a business idea? A very good business idea. Okay, so since you have a passion, <laughs> you yes. make shirts. I think they like clothing. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, from from okay. all sectors, agriculture, Culture. IT, yeah. oh. people who make shoes. I, I think what, what they want to know is, are, are you able to run the business effectively? Mm. Can you show a track record of um, producing results? If you can do that, then also put that on paper. Mm. I think the government will be willing to support. The government will be willing yes. to support. Yeah. Now, um, probably I should just talk, touch on one or two other areas. Now, is there um, room for partnership, for example, with Zaris Fashion oh, Academy, yeah. and how can we go about this? Yeah, room for partnership for Zaris, yes, because um, we intend to with the help of the federal government, okay. we have tried to expand. Mm. So we need a lot of people who can come in and assist us, for instance, bringing in machines. Okay. We need um, hostel accommodation for the students. And um, so far, we've been able to get to a level. So, but people who, who are interested in what we do can always talk with us. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Okay, what about, what about yours and uh, the T-shirt factory? Um, well, um, the major challenge that we um, face in the industry is having to get good quality fabrics. And um, we work with the local fabrics and also the imported ones. And mm. it may interest you to know that the, the imported ones are way cheaper than the ones wow. produced No, no, here. no, you, you don't mean it. I'm, mm. I'm serious. Wow. And in some cases, the quality, of course, is far better than the ones we have here, though we have some good ones. And so that's a major challenge. And beyond the production, what we are looking at is so 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 you patronize the uh, imported um, fabrics as it were yeah since we, they're better quality and cheaper and um, oh. we, we we patronize both the the imported ones and the local okay. Okay. and the local ones not all the local ones because we we at the end of the day would want to produce quality mm -hmm. so we work with the ones that we can use mm -hmm. but what we are looking at in the near future is being able to produce our own fabric with the quality that we want so um, we're, we're, we're looking forward to being able to establish a textile mill for the business so we can maintain the quality yeah. and not have to import okay. um, good quality fabrics. Okay, but, but, but um, Zaris, now, you, you, you won't... Sorry I'm calling you Zaris, but I have to call you Zaris because it just goes with the name of, your, of the brand <laughs> and easily just to separate the brand. Mm -hmm. Now, um, you seem not, you won't have that problem since you're just training. Yeah. So how would you help your students who might not go into retraining people but we want to establish, establish. establish um, fashion houses. So what, we do, what we're doing right now is we have um, an alumni. Okay. We are all the students who have finished work together. So for those people who want to establish, we help them get a perfect plan. Okay. Because everybody's plan is different, right? So the one that suits your business, mm -hmm. what do you want to do? Because there are a lot of aspects. Some want to be illustrators, some want to be pattern drafters, some want to make clothes. Someone to just work for people and still have that um, the working experience okay. before they start off. So in all of that, we get those groups and we get the um, people who head the committees to also work with these alumni. So so far, we've been able to help them start off their businesses and um, helping them start off in any way that they can, even if they don't have enough finance. Mm. Yes. Mm. Mm. So you contribute. Yeah, we we, we contribute in wow. that way to help them. Because we all have their contacts, we work with them, wow. and still give us feedbacks on what they've been doing so far. Okay, back to you, Nero. Yeah. Um, I, I need you to, um, since you're an entrepreneur, you're not just into t-shirts. Yes. <laughs> okay. So, as, as an entrepreneur, um, if you want to say something, if you want to share a word, for example, to those watching out there, what would you say? Not just in the t-shirt world, yeah. but in in since you've written um, your business plan and taken mm -hmm. it to the federal government initiative of you win. Mm. What exactly would you share with the youth out there? Um, I would say two things. Exactly. Number one, you, it's important you get trained. Mm. If, if not, you, you will keep um, moving in circles. You, okay. you need to get trained, not just in the art of let's say, the particular business that you do, okay. but you need to get trained on how to run the business. It's, it's very, very important. Very important. Then number two, I would say just start. 
um, just start. You, you, after being trained, you just have to start because there are some things you would not learn until you start the process. Okay. So two things, you need to get trained, then number two, just start from just where start. you are. Yeah. Just start. Oh, you agree with him or you want to add something? Yeah, I agree with him, yes, but I'll add okay. that um, you need a very strong foundation. If you start, start well. Okay. Start well, write a business plan. It might not look nice, but just start. Mm. From there, gradually, consistency and passion okay. will take you to your... Okay, so if I want to reach, should I just Google um, Zari's Fashion and Star House? Should I just go on Google and search for if I want to reach the Fashion House, for example? Yeah, if you want to reach the Fashion House, yeah. for instance, or the Fashion Academy. The Academy. Yeah, you, okay. you, just, you just Google um, Zari's Fashion and Zari's Fashion... Spell the Zaris. Z-A-R-I-S. Okay. Z A R I S yes. Fashion Academy. Zarisfashion.com.ng. Yeah. Zarisfashion.com.ng. What about yours, T-shirt factory? Um, the website is t-shirtfactory.ng. T-shirt factory one word dot ng. No com, no just t-shirt factory dot ng. But if you go on Google, just type t-shirt factory Nigeria. And every find, information you have. Uh, yeah, and also on Facebook to okay. T-shirt Factory Nigeria, you find us. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming You're on the welcome. program. Pleasure. I hope next time when we we'll call on you, you'll be here. Definitely. Okay, uh, probably I'll be able to get some couple of T-shirts. Sure. You. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you once again. Yeah. Okay, right about now we go on a break. And when I return, I'll be introducing you to my next guest.